Welcome to NDZ, Niagara Discussion Zone, where the topic is anything and everything. This show is not politically correct and there are no safe spaces. We're honest, we speak our minds, and if you get offended, that's too bad. Consider this your only warning. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Tony Caruso here. Can you believe this is our third podcast? Yeah, this is Christian Mancuso. Uh, it's actually my second time being on. I know you've had three podcasts, which is awesome. Uh, Andrew, how's it going, man? Doing great. Hello, this is Andrew Little. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, today we have a VIP guest, uh, a king, located in Sulu. Now, for the people that know, don't know where Sulu is located, it's actually located in the Philippines. Yeah. So, and, uh, you know, Sulu is, uh, is an amazing uh, island, um, you know, crystal clear water. And uh, what else, Chris, uh, can you tell us about it? Yeah, when uh, doing my research here, when you let me know, they actually found the biggest pearl ever recorded in the, in the history of the planet in Sulu. And they take that very, very, they're very proud of that. It's actually called the uh, the Pearl of Allah. They are uh, they are a Muslim uh, region. And yeah, they, uh, you know, just like we have the Canada goose, they got the <laughs> pearl. <laughs> yeah, and the monarch butterfly. Yeah. And uh, the moose. <laughs> so, exactly. so that, that's something that they have very close to uh, to their country. Uh, the great thing about uh, the pearl is the pearl doesn't fly over your house and make a mess of it. Yeah, exactly. And that's it. See, so you know what? That's something. It's like a precious uh, of uh, like the precious jewels that they have of uh, of their country uh, of the Sultanate. And uh, also, you know, uh, they've been occupied by many countries. First mm-hmm. by Spain, then also by the United States. Yeah. Now it's yes. occupied by the Philippines. And now they're operating as an autonomous territory. So to give you an example, they're operating as Nunavik here in Canada. So you have the First Nations, they have their own laws, even though they have to abide by the Canadian uh, criminal code and all that kind of stuff, anything yeah. federal. Same thing with Sulu. but They, they can do- operate, but they they, they respond to, to the Philippines. Right? That's they, right. they can run their own yeah. independent uh, little things here and there, but the major laws are still by the Philippines. Then, Absolutely. And, and the same thing with the Philippines. If they ever want to go into Sulu, they need to uh, seek permission. They can't just walk into their country. Okay. So it's very, it's a, you know, it's very interesting that there's a population of 825,000 people. That's wow, that's about the size of Mississauga. That's right. And uh, again, uh, Chris, you know, you touched on it, their official uh, religion is Islam. And they also have Roman Catholicism there. Yep, yep. They're very peaceful, uh, very peaceful nation, actually. Uh, it was really interesting. Um, their economy is uh, big time built on uh, fishing. They, you know, they they uh, they um, fishing uh, and farming. Fishing and farming. They, you know, they got exactly. the, they got a great agriculture uh, over there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I was uh, doing some interesting research. Uh, this guy is actually um, part of many different chivalric orders. His Majesty is uh, part of uh, the Order of Ngabu, which is uh, affiliated with uh, Uganda. Aren't you a part of that order as well? Uh, yes, I am, Andrew. And, uh, you know, that's what uh, brought me very close to His Majesty because CNN tried to uh, speak with him, CBC News, BBC News, and Al Jazeera. And he turned them all down just to speak with us. So we actually have an exclusive with His Majesty. Uh, yes, we're, I'm part of three orders that His Majesty is also part of. Uh, I'm also part of the uh, Order of the Eagle of Georgia. And I'm also part of the Dragon of Anam, which he's also part of, which that's located in Vietnam. So, you know, we do share a, a lot of uh, common, uh, a lot of common interests. And uh, he's an amazing guy. I've spoken to him uh, many times. And uh, you know what? Let's not waste any more of his time. And let's get to uh, some yeah, of these some questions, questions yeah. done. So, uh, Your Majesty, uh, may you please tell us your full name and your full title? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. My full title is... Paduka Masari al Sultan, Muizul Lail Tan Kiram of the Sultanate of Sulu in North Borneo. Hi, Your Majesty. This is uh, Chris here. Um, what is the official language and uh, the full official religion of Sulu? The official religion in Sulu Archipelago is Islam, and the official language is Bahasa Sinu. Hello, Your Majesty. What year did you take over your family's dynasty? Although my father died on February 16, 1986, we designated our uncle Jamalul as the temporary acting sultan for 28 years. It was only on September 16, 2013, uh, 2012, 
that they take over the title with the presence of Michael Medvedev from Russia, Andres Lindholm from uh, United uh, Kingdom, and several people from Sabah and in Malaysia. Oh, and uh, Your Majesty, how many children do you have? I have seven children, five boys and two girls. Your Majesty, why is the pearl so special to you in your kingdom? What does it represent? The pearl is so important to my kingdom. It's because it is the symbol of the Sultanate of Sulu. The biggest pearl in the world was found in Sulu Sea, the so-called the Pearl of Allah. That's awesome. That's great. Um, as well, Your Majesty, is Sulu for tourists? And uh, if I was to visit there, what is the uh, one must-see uh, place in Sulu? Every place is for tourists. We just need promote to showcase our tourist spot, but due to peace and order condition. Your Majesty, with, uh, with the tragic murder of Canadians, does your government... Your royal government does it condone this because after all this has taken place in Sulu. Was this done in the name of radical Islam? First of all, I would like you to know that we, con- we condemn the kidnapping and killing of any victims to the highest degree and un-Islamic in any sense. And no government condone this heinous crime. Hello, Your Majesty. It's Andrew here again. Uh, does your uh, majesty have a royal army and is it operational? The royal army did not cease to exist. They are just in the sh- in a, in a stand down status. Your majesty, uh, as you know, uh, there are many Filipinos that uh, are from the Sulu that have uh, come to Canada. Is Canada important to you and do you... Um, Know which cities your people are living in Canada? Canada is important to us, just like other peaceful and freedom-loving countries in the world. I just don't know that there's a lot of them, but I have no idea where are they and who are they. That's awesome. Uh, Your Majesty, I have to ask you, what's the life of a king? You know, I wake up every day and... uh, kind of do the same thing, uh, bring us into uh, the everyday life and values of, uh, of a king. I am just like ordinary people. My duty is to look after the welfare of my people, just like my duty to my family. Now, I know you are uh, currently, um, you guys answer to the Philippines and that. Do you see your country becoming independent and uh, one day running everything for yourselves? Although we believe that we're still an independent nation to this very day, only under occupation, but we would like to see someday that we'll be free and independent nation. Your Majesty, I, um, I'd just like to take this moment uh, because I know you're becoming very busy. Uh, do you have any messages you would like to say to your people and to all Filipinos living here in Canada? I would like to send a short message to my people now living in Canada. Treat Canada as your own country. Be a law-abiding citizen. Keep away from any form of crime. Love your work. To all the Filipinos out there in Canada, Mabuhay kayong lahat. And may Allah bless us all. Salamat sa inyong lahat. Magandang araw. To Tony and Andrew, on behalf of the people of the Sudanese of Sulu, I want to thank you so much for the interviewing me today, and I wish you good luck for your show. May Allah bless you. Amazing. Uh, you know, you know, you know, Your Majesty. You know, a lot of people are very excited. Uh, Special lot of Filipinos here in Canada is very excited to hear from you. Uh, it's a great honor that you actually took uh, a few moments to speak with us. Uh, I want to thank you very much for uh, allowing this uh, interview. And, uh, you know, we look uh, f- forward to talking to you again. Yeah, Your Majesty, I just want to kick in here quickly. Uh, thank you so much for your time. This is, uh, you know, one of the big moments in anybody's life to speak to royalty and uh, to get it ex- as exclusively with you. So uh, I just, again, I want to thank you, sir, very, very, very much. 
Yes, thank you very much, Your Majesty, for taking the time to come on and and talk to us. And his English was great. Yeah, better than that. You, you know what? He, he, that's right. You know, he, he seemed a little bit nervous at first, yeah. but you know what? His his language is great. Like for somebody living in Sulu, I'm sure you know because His Majesty is doing a lot of charity work. Of course, uh, you know he's building a lot of uh, hospitals. He's building schools. But who would who would actually think English is located in a remote remote island of Asia? Yeah, well, you know he he, well. he was amazing. Uh, you know, you know what I mean. He didn't struggle at all. No, he was worried pre-show. Actually, he said his English wasn't great, but uh, I mean, I understood everything he said, which is beautiful. And that's right. Yeah. And, he, and and he even said to us, saying, you know what, I don't know if I should do this in English because my 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 language. I was like, your language is amazing. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's almost like uh, my father with his broken English because he's Italian, yeah. but uh, his was actually to the point. Yeah. No, he was great. It was. Uh, Quite an awesome experience. I'm actually pretty pumped up. Oh, that's it's great. All right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for uh, tuning in to uh, NDZ. And I uh, hope to uh, hear from you all soon, uh, very soon. If you guys got any questions that you'd like to ask us, just let us know. Also, make sure to follow you on uh, on Facebook and all that. On the social YouTube. Social media, yeah. And uh, subscribe yes. on YouTube for you. And our too. website is up and running too now, www.ndz.ca. So make sure you all follow us. Have a great day, everybody. Take care.